is a strongly typed superset of JavaScript that compiles to plain JavaScript. You can use this language for application scale JavaScript development. Also, it can be executed on any browser, any host, and any operating system. Now, people often get confused between TypeScript and JavaScript, and they don't know what are the similarities or differences between these two. So today's session is all about TypeScript versus JavaScript. So here we will understand how TypeScript and JavaScript are similar yet different in their own ways. Now before we begin the session, let's have a look at today's agenda. So first we will talk about what is JavaScript and then we will see how we can use JavaScript in our everyday life and also why we actually need this particular scripting language. Now once we know about JavaScript, we will move on to TypeScript and see what is TypeScript. Then we will talk about how to use TypeScript and finally we will see why do we actually need TypeScript. Now once we know about both of these languages, we will finally compare these two and we'll see the different aspects of TypeScript versus JavaScript. And finally we will also talk about the trends or we will see which language is trending right now. Now before we get started, subscribe to Edureka's YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us on trending technologies. Also, if you are looking for an online training certification in web development, check out the link in the description box below. So first, what is JavaScript? Now JavaScript is actually a scripting language which is primarily used for creating web pages. It is also used to enhance HTML pages and is generally embedded in HTML code. Now JavaScript does not need to be compiled as it is an interpreted language. It helps to create dynamic, creative and interactive web pages. Now JavaScript files are identified by the .js extension. So basically this is a high level interpreted programming language that is used to make web pages more interactive. It also lets you implement complex and beautiful things or design on the web pages. So now that you know what is JavaScript, how do we actually use JavaScript? Now there are two different methods to use JavaScript in an HTML file. The first thing that you can do is embed all the JavaScript code into the HTML code. Otherwise you can also create a separate JavaScript file that can be called from within a script element which is enclosed by script tags. So these are two different ways or methods of how you can use JavaScript in an HTML file. Now why do we actually use JavaScript? Now JavaScript is the most used open source programming language which is also used extensively in most of the modern web applications, both the client side as well as the server side. It is flexible and also has a reasonably elegant core and enables you to use object oriented and functional programming. A JavaScript variable can have any type of value such as number, string, array, boolean, etc. But JavaScript is mainly known for creating beautiful web pages and applications. Now an example can be Google Maps. So if you want to explore a specific map, all you have to do is click and drag with the mouse. And what sort of language could do that? Exactly, it's JavaScript. Now, JavaScript can also be used in smartwatches. So, we have the popular smartwatch maker called the Pebble, which has created Pebble.js, which is a small JavaScript framework that allows a developer to create an application for the Pebble line of watches in JavaScript. Not just that, most popular websites like Google, Facebook, Netflix, Amazon, etc., makes use of JavaScript to build their websites. Also among things like mobile applications, digital art, web servers and server applications, JavaScript is also used to make games. Now a lot of developers are building small scale games and apps using JavaScript. So this was about JavaScript and what it actually does. Now let's move on and see what is TypeScript. So TypeScript is basically an open source programming language that lets you write JavaScript the way you want to. Now TypeScript is nothing but a super set of JavaScript that compiles into simple JavaScript. It is purely object oriented with classes and interfaces. It also helps programmers to write object oriented programs and have them compiled to JavaScript 
both on the server side and client side. Now for TypeScript, we can take a variable and also specify the data type. As you can see here, we have specified the data type to be string, and then you can write anything like welcome to Edureka, which is a string, and then we just print this particular message. Now, what happens when you run this code? So when you compile this TypeScript code, it generates a JavaScript file. So here you can see that after the compilation of the TypeScript code, you get the JavaScript file which provides only the variable name without the data type and gives the same output that is welcome to Edureka. Now moving on to the next topic. How do we actually use TypeScript? Now using TypeScript is pretty simple. You just have to install it. Now in order to install TypeScript, there are two main ways. Now there are two ways to install the TypeScript tools. The first one is via the NPM that is the node.js package manager. Now via this npm command line tool you can use this particular command which is the npm install hyphen g typescript. So this is one very simple way of installing typescript in your system. Now if you don't want to use the command you can just install typescript via the visual studio. Now if you use visual studio or vs code ide the easiest way to add to visual studio or vs code is to search and add a package or download from the TypeScript website. Also, you can download TypeScript tools for Visual Studio. So this was about how to use TypeScript. But why do we actually need TypeScript? Now there are different reasons why a JavaScript developer should consider using TypeScript. Some of them include using the new features of ECMA script. So TypeScript supports new ECMA script standards and transpile them to ECMA script targets of your choice. So you can use features of ES 2015 and beyond like modules, lambda functions, classes, the spread operator, destructuring, etc. Then we also have static typing. Now JavaScript is dynamically typed and does not know what type a variable is until it is actually instantiated at runtime. TypeScript adds type support to JavaScript. Apart from that, we also have type inference. Now TypeScript makes typing a bit easier and a lot less explicit by the usage of type inference. Even if you don't explicitly type the types, they are still there to save you from doing something which otherwise would result in a runtime error. Then we also have a better IDE support. Now the development experience with TypeScript is a great improvement over JavaScript. There is a wide range of IDEs that have excellent support for TypeScript like the Visual Studio and VS Code, Atom, Sublime and IntelliJ or WebStorm. Not just that we also have strict null checking in TypeScript. So errors like cannot read property X of undefined is common in JavaScript programming. So you can avoid most of these kinds of errors since one cannot use a variable that is not known to the TypeScript compiler. And finally, there's also interoperability. So TypeScript is closely related to JavaScript. So it has great interoperability capabilities. But some extra work is required to work with JavaScript libraries in TypeScript. Now talking about some of the benefits of using TypeScript. It is fast, simple, easy to learn and runs on any browser or JavaScript engine. It is also similar to JavaScript and uses the same syntax and semantics. Not just that this helps the backend developers write the front end code faster. Also, you can call the TypeScript code from an existing JavaScript code. It works with existing JavaScript frameworks and libraries without any issues. Now the definition file with the .d.ts extension provides support for existing JavaScript libraries like the jQuery, d3.js, etc. So TypeScript code can add JavaScript libraries using type definitions to avail the benefits of type checking code auto completion and documentation in existing dynamically typed JavaScript libraries. It also includes features from ES6 and ES7 that can run in ES5 level JavaScript engines like node.js. So now that you have understood what is JavaScript and how it works and also what is TypeScript and how it works. Also, we have talked about the different benefits of TypeScript as well. 
Let's compare these two together and see how they are similar or different from each other. So talking about TypeScript versus JavaScript, TypeScript is an object oriented language, whereas JavaScript is a scripting language. Also TypeScript has a feature known as the static typing, which is not there in JavaScript. TypeScript also supports modules, whereas JavaScript does not support modules. It also supports optional parameter function, whereas there's no such optional parameter function in JavaScript. Now a TypeScript program is composed of modules, functions, variables, statements, expressions and comments. But in JavaScript, all the statements are written within the script tag. So the browser program starts interpreting all the text between these tags as a script tag. So what you can do is inside the brackets you write script and then you write your JavaScript code and then you close your script tag. Now talking about TypeScript, it is new and has a relatively smaller community base. Whereas JavaScript occupies the major chunk of codes and it is widely accepted and used by the programming community. Finally, TypeScript is an object oriented language which makes the code more consistent, clean, simple and reusable. So it is better to use TypeScript for large projects. But the case in JavaScript is that it is mostly preferred in small coding projects. So these were some of the aspects of comparison between TypeScript and JavaScript. Now let's move on and have a look at the trends and see which programming language is trending right now. So if we compare the Google trends from the past five years worldwide, you can see that JavaScript definitely has been trending with a major difference. So here you can see that the search for JavaScript is way more than TypeScript and it is still in higher demand. But we can also consider the fact that TypeScript is definitely a new language right now and it is also seeing a huge growth in its field and people are preferring TypeScript over JavaScript these days because it helps you in a clear and concise coding. But if we consider the trends right now, JavaScript is definitely leading the way. So these were some of the comparison factors for TypeScript versus JavaScript. Although TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript, there are certain differences and also it has some additional features that makes it a little bit better and easier to work with. But JavaScript has been ruling the world of web development since ages, so you cannot set it back quite easily. So with this we have come to the end of today's session and I hope you have understood what is TypeScript and what is JavaScript and also what are the different factors where they are different from each other. So don't forget to let us know about your opinion in the comment section below. Till then, thank you and happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning.